Hi everybody, Shane Armand Rowe here. Today we are going to download, install, and run the Big P Emu. This is a Windows Jaguar emulator that runs just fine on the Steam Deck as a non-Steam game. And this was requested by one of my loyal subscribers. So I'm earning your subscription every single day. Go ahead and hit download, download the Windows 64 bit. We're gonna go ahead and drop it in our downloads folder. We'll save it. Open up Dolphin, the file browser, and go to your downloads folder. We're gonna go ahead and right click that zip file and select extract archive here, auto detect folder. And there it is. We have the big PMU, the Windows version, right here in downloads. I'm gonna go ahead though and move it over to um, my micro SD card where I've got plenty of free space. And uh, where am I gonna put it? Well, I was gonna put an emulation, but let's put it in the root because emulation is really part of Emudex package and I would much rather have it just sort of by itself. Cut and paste one folder. Great. And we'll delete the zip. We don't need that anymore. Let's clean up after ourselves, use delete. If you don't know where delete is, look at my Dolphin file manager tricks and tips video, it'll show you. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and go to Steam, add a non-Steam game, hit browse. We're then going to browse to my micro SD card, which is at slash run media MMKBLKOP1 and go into the big PMU folder, select all files and choose the EXE file. That's what we're gonna actually be running. Okay, add selected programs and there she is, right in Steam. Got a couple more things to do here though. Click the gear, go to properties. Let's go ahead and name this just big PMU because it's not just an EXE really anymore. Okay, we'll go to compatibility, force the use of compatibility, and you can choose to use pretty much anything you want. I use GE Proton for my non-Steam games whenever possible, but Proton Experimental or the latest version of Stable Proton will probably do just fine for you. And we're ready to play for the first time. Let's see what happens. Let's at least make sure that the emulator comes up, even though we haven't fed it any ROMs yet. And there she is, fantastico. So now we know that it at least works. Next up, we need to get some ROMs over here. You're on your own for this. There's not much I can help you with here. All I can tell you is that Google is your friend. Okay, so now that we've got them downloaded, we extracted the ROM collection. We're gonna cut the ROMs folder from that collection and paste it right here inside of our big PMU folder where the emulator itself is at. Let's change over to gaming mode. We are going to make a controller change here. We're gonna enable the back grip buttons and set the top left grip button to the escape key. That's gonna be necessary to get us out of the emulator while we're playing. Now we should be ready to go. We have ROMs, we have an escape key mapped. We are ready to play. So let's get this emulator up and running and see how she goes. Okay, so let's go ahead and load and pick a game, any game. And does it work? It does, fantastic, there you go. You now have a working big PMU all set up and ready to roll. Hitting that back paddle button that we assigned to escape will bring you back to the menu and you can get out just by selecting escape, go in and look at the settings, whatever you'd like to do. Next is all up to you. We've got you set up and running. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, you know what to do. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Shane Armonroe. Until next time, take care.